Sometimes luck draws you the short straw, and that's when it's all to play for. When life kicks you to your knees, it would be easy just to stay down and grieve the chances you lost from your lot in life. But that is not what has been my way. Plan second child and then homeless at one. The protector, our father. What a brick. Followed the love of another one, my mum's best friend. No wonder mum suffered as her marriage collapsed. Clutching at straws at the end, her crashing depression nearly crushed my elder sister and me as we fought to be seen in the rubble and heartbreak. Ages, just one and three. A knock on the door saved us all as mum felt obliged to answer this call removing her head from the oven of suicide, our gas oven. The only possession left standing because everything else had been sold, our futures on hold, then slowly imploding, and I just walking. I didn't start talking until living with friends in the north. My mum, traumatised, was hospitalised, whilst I and my sister imperceptibly stabilised as all our straws blew away in the wind, thrust into a poverty of nothingness. No home, no father, no money, no voice. When you are small, you have no choice, but to make good of the hand you are dealt. And you can't make bricks without straw. From emptiness, our tiny family rebuilt. My grandpa as guarantor secured as a house and with nothing but love for us, my mum made a home. Working shifts as a cleaner, shop assistant, landlady caregiver, she did whatever would earn us enough for food on our knees. And there were days she didn't eat as the money couldn't stretch that far. And maybe she struggled with eating and how people perceived her a mother alone, raising two young daughters, the stigma was palpable. Single mothers are to blame after all. And that shame sticks. Men who thought she must be gagging for it and couldn't see past the end of their dicks. While Good Samaritans helped, though the feeling of guilt they stacked on our broken home made me sick, I wanted none of it. And when our dog ran away and my grandpa died, that was my final straw. My young brain screamed enough Enough of this torture, no more. I want to stay home forever or run far, far away and be lost or both because nowhere felt safe with the wolf scratching at the door. So yes, sometimes luck draws you the short straw, but I'm stubbornly strong because I struggled so young and because my mum didn't quit. And I've forgiven my dad for the rough ride we had and I've grown up learning, a loving home can endure when built with grit and lots and lots of short straws, equally as well as from brick.